The West Virginia Mine Drainage Task Force has been tackling the issue of acid mine drainage since 1978, and today was the end of their annual conference. 12 News' Jefferson Pan was there to get a better understanding of a statewide issue. We have roughly 8,000 miles of streams that are impacted by acid mine drainage in the Appalachian region. Today in Morgantown wrapped up a joint conference for the West Virginia Mine Drainage Task Force and the 15th International Mine Water Association Congress. Regulators, members of the industry, private consultants, and scientists from all over the world gathered over the last week to discuss the issue of acid mine drainage. Essential to understanding this issue is a 1977 law that experts call a line in the sand. The Surface Mining Control and Reclamation Act, or SMACRA, was the first federal environmental regulation on mining. After SMACRA, coal companies became responsible for treating their mine drainage. However, for mines that were in operation before SMACRA, no one has any legal obligation to clean the drainage. These sites are called abandoned mine lands. Acid mine drainage is a problem in many of our streams, and most of, most of it, 90, 95% of it does still come from those abandoned sites. And so as more money is generated or gathered to treat these discharges, the faster we can improve the streams in the state. Attendees of the conference brought me to this discharge site. The West Virginia Mine Drainage Task Force says that this water is high in iron and toxic to aquatic life. The water is also highly acidic, and because it comes from a pre smacker mine, no one is legally obligated to treat it. The state treats sites like this with a pool of money generated from taxes on coal companies that are codified in SMACRA. Recently, state governments are getting a boost in funding from the Inflation Reduction Act, which allocated $135 million to revitalizing abandoned mine lands. Many of the attendants of the conference refer to acid mine drainage as the heritage problem problem of West Virginia. What they mean by this is that the former mine that is now putting acidic water into the West Virginia watershed likely played a part in building the state and the nation. If it were it not for coal, first of all, we wouldn't have the light and the electricity, the copper in the walls, the steel for the buildings, for the bridges to get us here. Coal is West Virginia. Coal is this part of the world. The West Virginia Mine Drainage Task Force Conference will be back next year to continue finding solutions to the heritage problem of West Virginia. Reporting for 12 News, I'm Jefferson Pan.